to skate, it just takes weight off of my shoulders. Like anything that I go through, it just all goes away. It's a community of people that all share this one same common love. It's like a big family reunion. All we need is an area to skate and some good music. That's it. We gonna find somewhere. and having a good time. This is our last Thursday forever. No, it's not. It's the last Thursday forever. Right here it is. When Skate Depot closed, I was pretty hurt. I had a lot of memories in there. I felt like a celebrity when I walked in because literally from the door, Everybody was saying hi, giving me hugs, smiling, waving at me. I don't know, I just felt like I was on a red carpet, a long red carpet. It's that place, that building, that brought everyone together. That last day, it felt like a funeral. And back in the day, there were tons of reefs in Los Angeles. The buildings are still here, but they've been turned into something else. I guess you would say it would be the gentrification of skating rinks. It's never this hard, bro. There you go. Keep going. Ratchet, bro. You got it though. Did you go to the last day at Depot? Yeah, the last day at Depot was emotional as hell, dog. Yeah. When I realized you only had an hour left in that last song, I think that's what that was it, dog. I can't get used to nothing no more because you don't know when it's gonna be gone. Mm -hmm. When it finally closed, we felt like it's not real. People still go by and just see if someone's there. I used to do it. It's like looking at your childhood home and it's like a different place or it's bulldozed or it's gone. And you're like, man, I grew up there. There it is. You can tell it's broke. It's still spinning though. My first pair of skates were a pair of high top blazers. They're like really old school now. I had a plastic plate and I had some red rubber wheels on them. It was just a skate that I really put together, literally. Got to the skater rink, whole shoe came off my plate. And then, then and there is just when I realized I need somebody to make me some skates. If skating wasn't something that I got involved in, being some type of mechanical engineer or a machinist would have been my calling because I'm always tinkering with things and figuring out how things work. This is a custom skate. A lot of kids use the Vans shoes because they're inexpensive and the sole on the shoe is firm enough to put on a skate. This is a pair of fiberglass wheels. That's a signature of LA. This wheel is extremely slippery. It's like skating on ice and you can slide on, on the floor, literally, just like that. The shoe of choice in a good deal of our custom skates here in Los Angeles are the Stacy Adams or the Stacy Baldwin high top because it has a, a nice firm leather sole on it, which is uh, very similar to the sole that they put on a, a higher end traditional skate boot. I had a lady, she had some Uggs she was like, this is the most comfortable shoe in the world. I gotta have these on skates. So I told her to take them to a cobbler and have them stitch a leather sole on the bottom of it and we can do it. Anything is possible, but then there are some things that are just 
just a bad idea. Deep face around. Face around, hold, keep going. That's good. The parade march or the boogie, which one? Take your choice. The boogie. Skate Depot is a skating facility that's probably 10 or 15 miles away from Fountain Valley. And it's sad to see another ring closing, but that's what's happening. And uh, so we went there to visit it, and it was very, very different than the session at Fountain Valley. There must have been, the night I was there, 250 people, and they were skating in a very rhythmical manner, and every one of them seemed to be having a wonderful time. I hope that some of those people decide to come up the freeway to Fountain Valley Out of nowhere, I remember seeing a flyer like, hey, we're at Fountain Valley. I'm like, Fountain Valley? I've never heard of this place, you know? And they were like, we go there and they're doing ballerina dance. And I'm looking like, whoa, what is that? You know, like, what is this? But I was glad to have an additional rink. You know, we just needed that right opportunity to get back on our feet. This is the night. Cali Slide Skate Jam. If you're into slides, we want to see creativity. If you're into trios, we want to see originality. If you're into middle game, we want to see everything. One of the signature moves of LA skating is what we call the circle. You get a group of people, if you're spinning around, holding hands, you pull one person, the next person pulls you, and you just kind of make this circle formation as you're going through traffic. It's all about the road. I don't care where you go across the country. I don't care what music you're listening to. I don't care what type of skate you're wearing. The bottom line, it's all about the road. We want to see your best slide. One at a time, y'all. I never really thought about joining a skate crew until I met Skate Mafia. You ain't even hit eight pins. Oh. You rolled a gutter again. Ooh. Mafia don't roll gutter. You Ooh. better step your game up or you gotta go home, brother. Ooh. We do more than just skate. Outside of the skate rink, we may go bowling. We may go out of town together. We have each other's back. And that's what's most important to me. Like to have a family outside of my family. How are you? Hi, Grandpa. Fountain Valley expanded their sessions, including giving Skate Mafia the college night. So it was really a big deal for us. College night brought together a lot of people. Everyone's having fun. It's not a whole bunch of teenagers doing the bad things. We're all coming together to hear music, skate, and feel safe. It's a healing zone for us. A lot of families go to the skating rink just to stay connected to one another. It's a bonding agent.
it keeps people together. After the shooting that happened at Fountain Valley, we lost our college night. We lost a place for us to just skate. For the people that are coming intentionally to start problems, why can't you guys handle your problems elsewhere? Us skaters, this is really our passion. This is what we love to do. That was our night. That was something that we loved. That was something that we cherished to have, you know, and it's terrible. Sucks. I feel like don't nobody want to do nothing no more because it's not enough time to do it. Now everybody's growing up and you can't be mad at that. Everybody's working. It's really hard to get everybody to skate at one point in time. So, but we still here. That's another reason why I miss Tuesdays though. Tuesdays was perfect. Like for sure. Yeah. It was perfect. That's what blows my mind. It's the fact that you can sit here and say we had our own skate night. Once it got shut down, it was it was like, well, where am I going to skate now? Or what's going to be the next thing? What am I going to do? Movies, bowling, improvising. Because I used to skate, I want to say, four or five times a week. So I was almost skating every day. The handful of rinks that are left, I mean, those are pretty much the, the last remaining rinks. But, you know, we've been to pretty much all of them. <laughs> when you're a skater, you're gonna find somewhere to skate. No matter what we go through, we always find a loophole to make sure that we're, that we're rolling. Warner Wills had a Facebook page and they just, out of nowhere, we're coming back. And I'm like, wait a minute, this is unreal. Like, how? They're going to put skating back in the spotlight, bring it back to the world, to the mainstream. And a lot of them closing down, so it's, it's good to see one actually opening and reopening at that, you know what I mean? back open. Let's see how this plays out, but I'm ready. I didn't want to skate at World because I was a Depot baby, but I had to think about the bigger picture. Like, I still need to skate. I did not think that we would be here today, but the night that it actually opened, that showed you how much a skating rink has an impact on a lot of people. It was at least between 800 to 1,000 people. Hey, what's up, man? A long time no see. It took the world on wheels to get you back. Come on. <laughs> well, you need to come to the shop anyway. I gotta go get some stuff out of my bag. I can't let nobody see me doing this stuff. Cause you know what happens once I start working on people's skates. Once the ring came back, I mean, we saw people that we hadn't seen in years coming to the shop saying, hey, Road on Wheels is opening back up. I need to get me some new skates. 
and now they're out there back in the skate community. Now, welcome back to your skate life. It was a good feeling to get our night back. I just want to keep skating going. I want to keep the community going.